Hi everyone, my name is Sid from the Azure Virtual LAN team, and today I'll be showing you how to isolate spoke VNets in Azure Virtual LAN using a custom route table. So here I have a setup with just one hub. I'm calling it an Azure portal, YouTube underscore hub one, to show that this is for a YouTube demo purpose. And connected to the hub, I have several branches. Here in this diagram, we see a point to site user, two site to site VPN branches, and then an express route circuit. But regardless, the process for isolating VNets remains the same. And then here I have a spoke VNet one and another spoke VNet two. And my goal is to isolate the VNets such that they are not able to talk to each other, but they are able to talk to the branches. And the branches should be able to reach these different spoke VNets. So in order to get this done, we have to use the propagation and associated route tables in Azure Virtual Web. So for the VNet connections, we are going to associate to a custom route table, meaning that we will learn routes from that custom route table, and then we will propagate to the default route table. So we will put in routes to default route table that will indicate how other uh, entities within virtual WAN can reach these spoke VNets, such as these branches. Now for the branches, we are going to associate to that default route table. So we're going to learn routes from that default route table. And then we're going to propagate to both the default route tables and then the custom route tables that will be dedicated for the spoke VNets. And so essentially, the branches are propagating to all the route tables we have available. So any entity within virtual WAN, whether it's a branch that's associated to default or a spoke VNet that's associated to the custom route table, will be able to reach the other branches. And then the branch is only associating to default because that is a requirement in virtual WAN. And then regarding the spoke VNets, given that we're only associating to the custom route table, we'll only be able to reach the branches, but then we will propagate to default so that the branches are able to learn the routes needed to get to the spoke VNets. So let's go to Azure Portal. And here in Azure Portal, I have navigated to the virtual WAN resource. And so let's first look at the initial default route table. So here I have one hub. And in this hub, I have configured several VPN gateways um, to represent branches in our workflow. So I have the VPN site to site gateway, a user VPN gateway. And then if I go here on the left hand side and click on routing and display, It'll then take me to the route tables that we currently have configured by default. And so we'll give that a second to finish loading. And then here we see default and we see none. And then for default, if um, I were to click on that, I can see I can edit the route table. And there are, uh, there's a default label. And then if I click on associations, I see that the branches are associated to this default route table. And then for propagations, I see that these branches are also propagating routes to the default route table. So now if I were to go back to uh, this hub resource, what I want to do is now create a custom route table. So I'll click on here plus create route table. And then we will call it route table underscore custom underscore vnets. And then let's click next to labels. Let's not worry about giving it a label for now, but labels allow you to group multiple route tables together. For branches, as I said earlier, branches cannot associate to custom route tables. They can only associate to default route tables. So I click next to propagations. And then here on propagations, I do want branches to propagate to this custom route table. So I will say yes here under branches. Then here we can see another part of this workflow that says propagate routes from all branch connections to these labels across virtual WAN. And this is simply the default label that is given to all the default route tables. So here I can simply click create. I've essentially created a custom route table that has branches propagate uh, to this custom route table. And I already have branches propagating 
and associating to the default route table. So we'll give that a second to update. And in the meantime, we will create our spoke VNet connections. So if I go to my hub resource, and then I go to my virtual RAN resource, I can now on this left-hand blade, go down to virtual network connections. We'll give that a second to load. And what essentially I'll be doing is creating connections between the spoke VNets and the hub. So as you can see right now, I don't have any connections. I'm gonna to have to add a connection. And we'll just call this VNet connection one. We'll connect it to our one hub. Put in the resource group. Put in the spoke VNet. And then here, I want to propagate to the default route table. I don't want to propagate to none. And then I want to associate to the custom route table. So associate to custom, propagate to the default route table. And I am not worried about propagating to labels because I'm already propagating to that specific default route table. I don't need to worry about adding any static routes for now. So I will click create. And I need to do the same thing for my other spoke VNet. So I'll click on add connection. And then here I'll say VNet connection two. And then for hubs, I will say this hub resource group. Go to my desired resource group. Virtual network. Now my second spoke VNet. And exact same configuration. I'm associating to the custom route table and I am propagating to the default route table and click create. We'll give that a second to finish loading, which takes about a minute or so. All right, so it looks like we have finished configuring the spoke VNet peering with the hub. And as you can see here, under virtual network connections, we have two virtual networks, two connections. Connection is succeeded. It's associated to the custom route table and it's propagating to the default route table. If you ever need to edit these virtual network connections, you can simply click here and say edit virtual network connection and you can choose where to propagate and where to associate to. And let's go back to our virtual LAN resource. So here we're in our virtual LAN. We'll go to our hub resource. And then on the left hand side here, we'll click on routing. And then we will look at the default route table and custom route table and make sure the correct entities are associating and propagating to those route tables. So here we'll start with default. So if I were to click here on default, I see for associations that the branches are associating to this route table as expected. And I see here in the propagations that the branches are also propagating to the default route table, and also that the virtual networks are propagating to the default route table. And here I can see those two virtual networks here. And then if I were to go back to my routing configuration and then now click on the custom route table associations, I see that branches as expected are not associated but that the two virtual networks are associated to this route table. And then I see under propagations, and I see that the branches are propagating to this custom route table. And I see that the virtual networks are not propagating to this custom route table. And you can see that also verified down here that they're propagating to default and associated to custom. And this is how you achieve VNet isolation in virtual LAN through a custom route table to ensure VNets are not able to talk to each other, but VNets are able to talk to branches. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.